Hi there, boys and girls. Wow, you know, I, I know all of you are at home. We're all trying to stay safe and do our part in keeping our island safe. And my wife had a great idea. She said, why don't we do something since you folks are home, you can't come to your lesson. So let's say that all of you out there, especially the young ones, you know how to strum C, you know how to strum F, and you know how to strum G7. Well, that's all you have to know for now. So all you have to do, for instance, if you can just follow me, well, first, first of all, you have to tune your ukulele. So remember, we always tune our ukulele G, C, E, A, okay? G, C, E, A. You're gonna strum, if you can do this, C, one, two, three, and F, one, two, three, G, seven, one, two, three, and C, one, two, three, okay. Now, if your mom or dad can play the ukulele, they can strum those chords, and I'm gonna teach you something that you can pick. Okay, it's not a song, it's just something, it, it's, it's like a practice thing that you can use. So, you know how we always teach you folks to put your ring finger on C, or your ring finger on G, your pointer finger on F, your middle finger on D, because it makes it very easy to play the notes without always looking at your fingers. You know, but what we're going to do in this case, this being your index pointer finger, you're going to place your pointer finger where you pick G. So you're not going to use your ring finger. You're going to put your pointer finger on G right here. And now with your tall finger, the middle finger, you're going to put it up on the C string, which is the string above, on the 4th fret. So notice G is on the 3rd fret, and now I'm putting my middle finger here on the 4th fret. Okay, so I have, I'm holding two notes. Now I'm just going to play those two strings back and forth like this. Just like that. But I'm going to put a rhythmic pattern to it. So it's going to sound, let's say if I decide to do something like Okay, that was easy, right? Okay. okay, let's try it again. So you start with the G and you go to the string above. And now the next chord is F, so you hold your F chord. Now you're going to play the bottom two strings, so you're going to hit the A first and the string above A that you're holding is F. You're holding your F chord. This is your F note, okay? So you're gonna play the same thing like this. Okay, so the rhythmic pattern would be. Okay. So the first one again was the pointer finger on G, the middle finger on the fourth fret, and Now you hold your F chord and you start with the A string and you hit that note, alternate with the F. And now you're not going to hold G7 even if what you're playing is related to the G7 chord. So if daddy or mommy is strumming G7, you're going to play this. You're going to put your pointer finger now on B. Normally you, put, you use your tall finger, middle, but I want you to put your pointer finger here. Now your middle finger is going to go G. I, I know this might be kind of confusing to some of you, but when you play more than one string together, you have to use your fingers in an order that makes it very simple to move. This is the best way to do it. So you're going to put your pointer on B, and now you're going to put your middle finger, your tall finger on where you pick G. Now the cycle remains the same. You start with B and you go, And so if I play the same rhythm pattern, would be, okay? And now C, which is the next chord, you just put your finger on C and you pick C once, and now you strum it twice. Strum, strum. Okay, now if I put this whole thing, let's go through it slowly one more time. So when you play the first pattern, this is in relationship to the C chord. 
Okay, so it's And now the next chord that you're gonna hear is F. You hold your F chord, right? And you might say, well, why do I have to hold F? I, I don't need this finger. I'm just playing these two notes. That's correct, but it's a good habit. You might as well learn to hold F because later on I can utilize this and show you something different. All right, so now we do the same thing. And now the next fingering, when you put your pointer finger on B and your middle finger on G, this is in relationship to G7. And it's going to be... And now you end by picking C and you strum twice. So, if we were to play, uh, if I could strum, you could play it, but for now, I'm going to play it with you. So if I say one, two, three, begin, and you're going to start playing this, okay? But before we do this, one last time, I'm going to show you something. Watch. This is something that you, you will learn and develop in time, but it's just to make you aware of this. Mostly everyone, amateurs and everybody, when they do this, if they were to do something like this, they lift their fingers and come to F. Or they'll play like this. Now they have to lift and move their thumb and to come here, to this chord. But notice when I move, I just slide. Watch. Now look at this. I slide. I, I, I didn't even let go of the strings. And now I come to the next fingering. C, strum, strum. This is it. Now you try and follow me. Ready? This is it. Three, begin. Change. Change. And now you pick C. Strum, strum. So just have daddy and mommy strum C four times, F four times, G seven four times, C four times, and then you take it away. Ready? Two, three, here we go. Try again. Until next time, be safe. Love you. Bye-bye.